I'm not sure if Katie's still here. No, Michelle says no, she's not. But we want to thank her and Channel 13 for being here earlier today, as well as uh, Katie's son, Camden. Um, now I want to go ahead and give a first-hand account of the importance of today. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and announce and welcome Jack O'Neill. He's the honorary chair for this year's event. Jack is uh, now 10 years old, if you want to come up, Jack. Jack's now 10 years old and has had many personal experiences with being in the hospital. And after some of these experiences, Jack had a conversation with his parents and wanted to go ahead and start a charity for giving out toys for hospitalized kids. So he's, he's uh, done a lot of work. So you want to come say hi, Jack? Hi, I'm Jack O'Neill. Um, thank you so much to the Foundation for inviting me here today. This is my fifth year sharing this story at Rockford Memorial Holiday Toy Drive. Over the years, I've shared my personal story and also the story of my charity, Little Hands Make a Big Difference. I started Little Hands when I was six years old. Following a surgery, I had to lengthen my life. For three years, my family and I worked really hard to fundraise for hospitalized children. I am proud to say we have raised tens of thousands of dollars, and every penny has gone back to buy toys, games, and stuffed animals for hospitalized kids. And this has been a very remarkable year for me. Unfortunately, that leg that I had surgery on was still having issues. The doctors gave me multiple options of surgeries. I suggested something different. I made the hard decision to amputate my leg. In February, I had, I had the operation done to my leg. After three days in the hospital, I was very excited to be coming home. I was fortunate that I recovered quickly enough to return back to school after two weeks. Soon my life felt normal. Well, besides the fact that I was with missing half my leg. <laughs> My family and I were very excited because we started to think it was going to be a piece of cake, but then the real work began. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I started physical therapy at Van Mater Rehab Hospital in, in March. Since then, I have been seeing my physical therapist, Paula, at Van Mater two or three times a week. Six weeks after my operation, I was able to get back to the swimming pool, my favorite. That was the best part for me because my goal is to be a Paralympic swimmer. I was so happy, I was so much happier with my swimming because it was easy for me to adapt to swimming with only one leg. A lot of people ask me, how do I swim with just one leg? Well, I do it the same way as you, just I have to work a little bit harder. One month after my operation, I got to try my first prosthetic leg. And after months and months and months of appointments and fittings, I will finally get my permanent prosthetic this afternoon. In the craziness of my recovery, I had some very exciting things happen. I qualified to compete in the National Junior Disability Championship Swim Meet. While at the swim meet, I competed in seven events. I became a six-time national champion, winning six of my events and setting a national record in five of those events. <laughs> summer, I met a United States paratriathlete who, who encouraged my brother and me to compete in a triathlon. We joined a thousand other kids in the Chicago Kids Triathlon. I was shocked to win the paratri division using a hand cycle and a racing chair. In the September, I participated in a running lane where I received my first running book. I am so excited because I will be able to attach this running foot onto my new prosthetic and I'll finally get to run. So I plan on doing triathlons next summer with my bike and my running leg. In November, I was invited to a swim plan with the United States Paralympic College, where I was evaluated as a, a potential future Paralympian swimmer. And what I am most proud of this fall, I achieved regional times in the USA, able-bodied swimming, which means I can compete in March against the best able-bodied swimmers in our region. The other highlights of my year have been learning how to downhill ski, meeting the Chicago Black Box team, and parasailing in Mexico. As you can see, I've been a little busy, and, sometime, and something happens when life gets real busy. You get caught up in your busyness. You don't really think about anything else besides your business. 
And then you forget that what's a big problem in your life could be just the smallest problem in someone else's life. And then, some, and then one day something happens. Something that opens your eyes, makes you look at your life and outside your busyness and your worries. Sometimes it is something like, something big, like hearing about a tornado that flattens an entire town in seconds. Or sometimes it's something smaller, like a breakfast meeting where you have to bring a toy for a sick kid. Today, I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy to bring my message of inspiration and determination, but I'm also happy to be here to receive the message of the toy drive. Thank you so much. Happy holidays.